Okay, so we tried triple nine apps this entire year in 2024. And these 15, they are the best. Now we write dozens of articles on websites. We cover hundreds of apps on our reels and short. And some apps, they are really life changing. Some apps are just shit. And some of them are cash craps. So me and Rinal will tell you about 15 best apps within one minute. Toss. Lalo, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Heads or tail? Heads. No, oh, it's a head. <laughs> I go. <laughs> ah, I go ah, first. Okay, you go first. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the paid apps and then we will slowly move toward the best and free ones. Starting off with the app that I literally use every single day. So whenever I get a message on WhatsApp, instead of typing a reply, I just tap on this button and AI will instantly generate some suggestions. And trust me, these replies, they are really good. They are not only contextual, but also accurate. And not just that, it also supports multiple languages. Like if somebody sends me a message in Hindi, are Hindi mein bhi reply kar deta hai, or even Bangla. Now between you and me, I have been using this app for past six months now. And a lot of people I interact with, they don't even know I'm using AI to reply and not just that you can even set up a tone like the same message can either be replied in more serious tone or in a funny tone depending on who you are interacting with your boss or your friend but just like most of the AI apps it's also not free you get a limited chats per week and after that you will have to pay I got a paid version and it's totally worth it now this is a fun one if you ever get a multiple Bluetooth pairing request and it seems like a prank well, it is. Now, this is a secret app and it's quite crazy. Simply open the app and then you can start simulating different Bluetooth devices. You can choose between Apple, Google, Samsung and even Microsoft devices. Just pick one, set it up and it will start broadcasting to any nearby Bluetooth enabled phone. Now, one way to prevent yourself from these spams is by just disabling the nearby scanning. So go to settings, connections, more connection settings and then turn off nearby devices. By the way, for obvious reasons, it's not available on Play Store but Android. Okay, so you might be the lucky ones to get circle to search, but here's the thing, not every phone is getting this. Like Motorola has released the circle to search feature for the Edge 50 series, but the Edge 40 series from last year will miss out on it. Same with Nothing Phone 1, iQOO 7 Pro, etc, etc. But here's a neat trick. Just download this circle to search app and set it as your default assistant. And now if you press and hold the home button, then you can circle anything on the screen and Google search instantly find results based on what you circled. And this app works flawlessly on every device that we tried. Next up, we have PDF Gear, which is like a one-stop destination for everything PDF. It not only lets you read PDF, but also split, merge, and even edit PDF. And now here's the mind-blowing part. Unlike most PDF editors on Play Store, which either slap a watermark or lock essential features behind a paywall, this app is the only PDF app which is completely free and 100% safe. Now, you tell us your best apps in the comments and one unique feature, and the top voted comment gets a 5,000 rupees Amazon coupon. Let's go, on to Mrinal. Now, you may or may not have heard about Notebook.lm, but in both cases, I just want you to see how to use it effectively. So let's say I have this WEF report, which is like 100 pages. Now, who has time to read all of that, right? So here's what you can do. You can just import it into Notebook.lm. By the way, you can put it any links or any video file and it will generate a summary. Now, I know you may be thinking, well, what's new in that? Any AI chatbot can do that. Well, it takes one step further. It can even generate a full-blown realistic podcast between two people discussing the document. Them, you know, anything related to work. And that is what we're all here to talk about today. It's all about that WF. And it gets even better. It recently got an update and now you get an option of interactive mode where you can literally ask a question to the people who are speaking in the podcast. Like here, I can oh, yeah, ask uh -huh. AI, what's the topic for today? And they will reply back. So the overall topic today is the future of jobs. More specifically, we're diving into a report from the World Economic Forum. It's this like report. sitting in a room with two experts who will also answer your questions. The only thing is for now, this app is not available on Play Store, but you can go to your browser and hit this add to home screen and it will just work as a native app. 
Okay, so moving on to the next one, Paralino. It's a simple app that lets you share your location with friends and family. Now, I know you may be thinking, well, WhatsApp, Google Maps, all of them lets you share your real-time location. So, what's new? Well, thank you for asking. It not only lets you real-time location using GPS, but it's also end-to-end -end encrypted, which is, of course, you will never get on Google or WhatsApp. And not only that, you can also see if the other person is speeding or not. And if they're in a building, it will also show you the elevation and even the battery life of the other person. In fact, you can even set up a geofencing so if somebody comes home you will get a push notification now overall paralino is mostly free for two people but if you want to share location in a group with more than two people then you will have to pay Okay, so now this one is for people who are using huge phone or even this big tablet. In fact, even the recent S25 Ultra has reached a massive 6.9 inch. By the way, nice number, but it hurts my finger. Yeah, so yeah, quick cursor boy. solved this problem by creating a virtual touchpad at the bottom. Just swipe up from the edge and a cursor will pop up. And now you can reach anywhere. And if you lift your finger, the cursor also disappears. This is perfect for big screens like phones and tablets. Plus you can also customize and adjust sensitivity, active zones and gestures, etc. Really useful app, go check it out. Now you may be using ChatGPT or Gemini, but I bet you should use Claude. Here's how it's built differently. So you can ask it to build anything, a website, a game, or even a fully fleshed app. And the best part, you don't need a single piece of code. Like, let's make a full clone of our website techvisor.com using Claude AI. And oh my God, look at it. It has generated everything, even the little tabs, tweaks, buttons, customization of the UI. It also gives you both preview and a code in real time. So if you want to make any changes, you can see the results right there. So overall, if you are into coding or programming, Cloud AI is worth checking out. Now, Minal is into Cloud AI, but I discovered a new viral AI. DeepSeek. DeepSeek has shook the entire AI industry from NVIDIA to OpenAI. They were the one to feel the max impact. Now, if you open the DeepSeek Android app, it looks a lot like ChatGPT and it has the same way of generating answer. Let's ask something about TechWiser and as expected, it gives a typical AI style response, straightforward, structured, nothing fancy. But here's where things get interesting. Hit this deep think R1 button and ask the same question again. As you can see here, it actually starts thinking like a human and it also starts thinking about other possibilities like whether the channel name is correct or not. Now ChatGPT also has this chain of thought model, but the best part about DeepSeek is it is completely free as of now. Now, of course, the servers of this app is from China. So if you ask questions like, is Taiwan a part of China? It's a bit shy to answer these questions correctly, obviously. <laughs> Whereas when it comes to India, it rightfully answers the pros and cons of India, addresses poverty, everything. It also rightfully answers the northern states in India. But as soon as you ask anything about Arunachal Pradesh, it's beyond its scope. It doesn't even recognize Itanagar. It doesn't even recognize the distance between Delhi to Itanagar. So when it comes to India, it has quite sharp opinions. But DeepSeek can be run offline even on this 40,000 rupees laptop. And in fact, since it's open source, even the Indian government is going to implement a version of DeepSeek which will have servers in India. Now, overall, this is how I feel about DeepSeek. If one person on the streets starts selling tea at 5 rupees, all the other people cannot sell it at 10 rupees. So overall, DeepSeek will make other AI apps cheaper. Next up, if you are like me who order at least once from Swiggy Instamart, Blinking or Zepto, then you need to try out this app. Simply open this app, search for it and boom! This app will not only fetch all the available options, but you can also compare the prices in the same window. Like here, this 400ml of face wash is 386 on Blinkit, but on Swiggy Instamart, it's just 319. That's a massive difference of 25% and if you order a lot each day, then this can actually save you a lot of time and money. By the way, do you know what else can save you a lot of time and money? Yes, subscribing to TechWiser. Now, coming back to the app, you can even add all of your items to the cart here and it will directly appear in the checkout page. Okay, so USB Locket is a free app that is designed to password protect your USB drive so that your study materials remain confidential. Simply plug in your USB drive into your phone, enter the pin to lock the USB drive, and just like that, it's now secured. Now, whenever you will plug this USB drive into any PC or computer, it will give you a lock prompt, and you won't be able to access any of its content. And to unlock it, just plug it back to your phone, enter the right pin, and you're all set to access your files again. 
Okay, so next up we have Buzzkill, which is an Android app that lets you control every bit of your notification. I mean, really, you can control every bit of it. Like, let's say you get an OTP message, then Buzzkill will automatically copy the OTP in your clipboard. Or let's say if you're someone who forgets stuff, then you can set it up to automatically reply to a message if it contains a word reminder. But here's my favorite one. Buzzkill lets you see even the deleted message on WhatsApp. Now, it's a paid app and I mean it costs 99.99 rupees on Play Store. But for the price, it's worth it. Now, if you don't like the idea of having a lot of apps on your home screen, you can check Pi Launcher. The first time you enable Pi Launcher, your home screen looks completely empty. No icons, no clutter, nothing. But here's the cool part. Just press and hold anywhere and a circular ring pops up with all your favorites app right at your thumb. No need to swipe through pages, just tap and launch. And this gets better. If you tap once, you get instant access to the app drawer where you can search for any app. It's super clean, super fast and perfect for just one handed usage. Okay, moving on. I bet you have never seen something like this before. Like, check this out. If I'm on Amazon and I'm confused which SD card to buy, so I will just point out my camera and it will automatically tell me the meaning of the symbols A1 on the rating. SD card. The A2 rating on the Samsung card indicates faster random read and write speeds, which would make the Samsung card better for video recording. So this is the Google AI Studio, which uses your camera and mic to interact with the environment in real time and use AI. And it's pretty awesome and scary at the same time. So to use it, simply type AI Studio on Google, tap on the first link and then tap on Steam Real Time. Now it is free to use, but just like Notebook.lm, it's also a website and not an app. So you will have to manually create a shortcut if you want to use it as an app, but it works flawlessly. Okay, so next up, let's say you are attending an online classes and you need to jot down important notes. So instead of just searching apps manually, you can just set up a floating window on your screen. Now, with a simple swipe, you can instantly add a note without even leaving the current app. Although it's not a free app and it will cost you 99 rupees on Google Play Store, but you can check it out. Now, if you guys come from the ancient YouTube era just like me, then you might have heard about Expose modules. Well, Shizuku is just like that, but it doesn't require any root access or even the need to connect to your computer. So let's say I want to uninstall system apps from Android. Now you cannot do it directly without rooting your app or even without connecting your phone to your PC. But with Shizuku, you just have to install the Aishel app into it. Now it gets a bit geeky here. You have to enter the command followed by the package name of the system app that you want to uninstall and boom, now you have successfully installed system apps without routing or without even connecting your computer. Of course, it gets more complicated and I will leave the link to a detailed article in the description of this video. Okay, so there you have it. If you like me doing such videos, comment below and we will try to bring another version of this, maybe an AI apps. Also, share the creative views of these apps and the top rated comment will win a big, big prize. So this is Marina signing off and I will see you in the next one. Pew, 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 pew.